It was probably in 2014 or 15. We were like, one of the things we absolutely want to do is bring people to space for the first time. NASA has been working with VR longer than we have. They weren't telling stories with VR and they were using it more as a training medium. The Time Magazine was also thinking about putting a VR camera on the space station. We decided to partner on this together. They had a ticket to space already. Uh, and we had the relationship with NASA and on how to you know, make the best camera or, or at least uh, adapt, as we did on this project, a camera to best shoot on the ISS. When you're space certifying, even for inside the ISS, you need to make sure that you know, certain adhesives aren't used, how you manage thermals make sure that you know we're not interfering with any devices up there and what we did a lot of things to the to the camera to improve it as well we actually shipped the first camera at the end of 2018 and that went up on a dragon rocket the camera was up and running just a couple weeks later when we started this we had the ambition of shooting as much as we did but we didn't know if we would actually be allowed to do it we were often on calls with about over 30 people from NASA just to validate a, a camera position. The astronauts could be like, this is too much work. So every step of the way, things kept going forward is because people were actually enjoying the process and, and excited about what, what was happening. We wanted to tell a very emotional, uh, personal story, right? We wanted to highlight the people, the astronauts, an astronaut, what we call the astronaut logs, where they kind of have this one-on-one -on -one with, with the camera. And we wanted the viewers, as people, to feel present and a part of that story. We're taking our first baby steps into space. And if this space exploration actually takes us off the Earth in a more permanent way, these are the first steps to adaptation. So this has actually become the most ambitious media project of any kind to be shot in space. I think that with virtual reality, you can finally actually get a taste of what it, it is to, to actually be up there. In fact, when we first showed this, uh, the first few images of, of the ISS experience to, to astronauts back here on Earth who had been on the ISS, they were like, well, this is the first time we can actually share what what that is like and this was this was amazing for them to to be able to share that with their families uh, and and for nasa you know all the, the hundreds if not thousands of people that allow the astronauts to go up there but that have never been there themselves we're leaving everything that we've we've built up there the cameras we realize that what we designed to tell a story it, it'd be sad for it to end there beyond the iss well Space doesn't end at the ISS, so uh, we're definitely looking at, at the next steps.